Love's Labour's Lost is a play that can become perilously close to self-important uh, if it doesn't involve the audience. It's uh, an incredible feast of um, wild and strange and recherche and some of it very difficult language. And if that's removed from the audience, then it becomes very distant. Uh, the essence of our production of Love's Labour's Lost is to involve the audience and share the language with the audience as an act of generosity so that we're saying it's like this extraordinary meal of um, different flavors and different tastes and every character that come on has a very idiosyncratic language and we try and and share some of that excitement with the audience we're trying to bring a little bit of that globe spirit to america um, we don't sort of try and rejig our shows so that they'll fit into uh, a normal sort of proscenium theatre. We try and recreate some of the excitement, some of the life, some of the anarchy, some of the fun, some of the sexuality, some of the delights that we have here in a show at the Globe. So there's a lot of music, um, there's a big dance at the end, uh, the Shakespeare is spoken, we hope, very well and very clearly. Uh, there's a lot of direct address to the audience. Um, it's very different as an event from a sort of uh, classic, rather self-important, rather stiff uh, rendition of a Shakespeare. It's much more fresh, much more human, much more lively, we hope.